<laughs> All right, welcome everybody to our, I think, fourth series of our virtual training, virtual talks. Um, today we're going to be discussing the Wahoo Element versus the or Wahoo Element Bolt versus the Wahoo Roller. Um, right now, there's a lot of awesome pricing and promotions for Wahoos, which we'll talk about here at the end of the video. But we wanted to give people a rundown of the major differences between these two computers. Wahoo has come a very long way um, with their technology and with their devices. A lot of people use Wahoo for their trainers, a lot of people use Wahoo for their bike computers, and they may have seen the new Element Bolts, uh, this is the Stealth model, or the new Wahoo Element Roam, and kind of decided or are wondering, well, which one should I choose? Um, there's a pretty substantial price difference and there's just some pretty substantial feature differences between these two. Um, are you going to show this, the things here? Okay, there we sure. go. So what we'll start with um, is the screen and the size, the color, and sort of the quality of the screen and the differences between the two. Here is the Wahoo. Uh, this is the Bolt and this is the Roam. Bolt has a 2.2 inch screen compared to the 2.7 inch screen on the Roam. And both of these have their backlights turned on right now. And so you can see that this one almost looks like a blue sort of dot matrix screen. This one is a very subtly lit uh, sort of color screen, but it also has a matte finish. And so there's a little bit less glare on that as well, which, which will help you outside. So we can take the, these devices outside here in a minute. And you can see the difference between the two of them. Um, this also comes with a Gorilla Glass screen built into it. And so this glass is actually a little bit more durable than the glass on the Bolt. And so if you do decide to take this mountain biking or on a gravel route, uh, if you happen to drop this device, it's going to be a little bit more robust um, as far as being able to be protected from drops and falls and scratches. You can also tell the difference in quality. The screen here on this guy, just it just looks a little bit more, I don't know, unfinished, I guess. Um, a little bit more sharp display on this just looks, looks a little bit better. Uh, the refresh rate on both of these screens, if I hit the page button, um, you can see it's pretty close. So like the, it's not necessarily that much faster on one versus the other. They're both pretty much simultaneous. Um, and if I cycle through these screens, you can see sort of the relative page size and how it would look for you as from a riding standpoint, you know, in terms of if you're an older person, which may have trouble seeing things either close up or far away, uh, the bigger screen is really nice to have. Um, you know, so the smaller device, you know, while it is a little bit more aerodynamic than the Roam, um, can be a little bit harder to see, uh, depending on how good your eyes are. Uh, in that same regard, if we walk over to one of the bikes over here, you know, it's fine since my stem is clean, you can see sort of how much room this is going to take up on your stem, right, and on your bars. And so this may not be the best, you know, this fits really nice on my stem and it fits really nice and clean out in front of my stem. Whereas the Roam is definitely a more beastly, substantial device to have on your bars. And so if you already have some lights or some other accessories on your handlebars, you may want to take that into consideration as far as how big the device is that you want to use. Um, the other differences between these two are that there's one row of LED lights here on the Bolt as compared to two rows of LED lights here on the Roam. Some people think that that's a little bit gimmicky. The lights indicate things like relative speed, power output, heart rate. And so having the second set of LEDs on the Roam is good, although it may be considered a little gimmicky. Um, I know some people that like the LED lights. I sort of am indifferent. I think that they're cool, but they probably are more of a battery drain than anything else. Speaking of battery life, we have about 15 hours of battery life on the Bolt compared to about 17 hours of battery life on the Roam. Probably not super substantial. Uh, again, if you're gonna go out on an all day ride, you might want the two extra hours of battery life on this guy. The two biggest sort of um, differences between these two devices, we're gonna walk back over to the table. The two biggest differences between these two devices and what I think most people need to consider when they decide to choose one is do they tend to do the same route or predefined routes that they'll sync to their device or do they tend to do more exploration and sort of off route riding. And so what I mean by that is like, let's say you're on your road bike and you know you're gonna do, you know, the block haven loop and you're, you know, you just sync that route to this and you know you're not gonna go off that route and you're just gonna do the loop and be done. Excellent device for that, really easy to use, easy to transfer the route, it's easy to follow the route on the map, you know, basic navigational features, solid choice. 
let's say you wanted to do some riding, um, you know, more of a gravel adventure ride, and you don't necessarily know where your route's gonna take you. You may, you may wanna take a diversion. You may wanna go off course and go to a different town or see some other features. This includes built-in rerouting capabilities that don't require the phone or the app to use. And so you can basically pick a point on the map with the Roam and say, I want to navigate there, and it will do it for you, regardless of whether or not you have your phone with you or the companion Wahoo app. That's the biggest difference between these two devices. You have one that can do rerouting and do on-the-fly routing and navigation versus routing and pre-planned -pre routing only. So for me, this is a really great choice because if you have several bikes, um, you know, maybe a mountain bike, a gravel bike, a road bike, having one computer that you can rely on on all of those bikes is going to be a really, really uh, interesting value proposition for most people. Whereas this uh, Bolt is mostly geared towards the roadie crowd um, and just your basic routing features. It is a little bit more aero. I know Wahoo likes to say it shaves off, you know, some amount of time or something ridiculous like that, but maybe shave your legs and you'll gain the same amount. I don't know. <laughs> um, but really when it comes down to it, to me, is the routing capabilities on this device and the screen are far and away better. Um, but it is a little bit bigger and it is also a little bit more costly. So the retail on the Roam is gonna be 379 versus 229 on the Bolt. Wahoo is doing a $50 mail-in rebate on these guys right now, which is awesome. So basically you come in to downshift, you buy one of these, you submit the paperwork and Wahoo gives you a $50 rebate, which is pretty awesome. We have both of these in stock right now. Uh, we were able to pre-order a bunch of them, so we have um, both Rome Bolt, or excuse me, Wahoo Rome uh, computers as well as the Bolt computers in stock here, as well as a bunch of different mounts and sensors. Um, and so I think that's pretty much what I was wanted to talk about. Let me just look at my notes here real quick to see if there's any other points I wanted to make. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, and if you're, if anybody has any questions about why they should choose the Roam over a Garmin, let's say, I know that's not the scope of this talk, but it is relative to the bike computer world. Um, I do use a Garmin smartwatch, so I'm very well familiar with Garmin technology and Garmin devices. The software on Wahoo is night and day ahead of Garmin, and I will say that till my last dying breath. When you use the Wahoo app on your phone, and see what you're missing, <laughs> you will be surprised that Garmin is still in business. It is that different. The Wahoo software is phenomenal. Um, if you remember the old days of Macintosh computers, it, it, they used to say it just works. That's the way these Wahoos are. They just work. The apps are simple to use. Route transferring is easy. It's super easy to use and maintain on your phone. There's no cables, there's no buttons and wires to deal with as far as like plugging in the device to a computer. It's all done on your smartphone and it's super basic and easy to figure out. Um, so if you have more questions, feel free to email us or come by the shop. Well, stay six feet away from everybody, but, you know, email the shop or at least communicate with us somehow. And we can definitely recommend one for you if you have certain issues or certain questions. Um, the, the, um, Kelsey can show you this. The, the actual built-in literature on both devices give you a lot of input. And so you could come in and look at one of these and kind of make your decision from there. Um, we do have a question. Yes. How's the install? Do you have to run wires, install the sensors and everything? Are there any wires? Right. There are no wires. And so I don't think we have any sensors in stock. Or did we? We did get some today, didn't we? Yeah. Um, no. All the sensors are wireless. So heart rate, speed and cadence, um, as well as I think those are the three. So heart rate monitor is going to be on your chest. It's going to be wireless. The cadence sensor is going to be a little tiny round thing that goes on your crank arm. And that's going to be wireless and the speed sensor actually goes on your hub it's a little tiny wireless sensor that goes on the hub of the bike we sent josh to go get a couple here that we can look at real we quick. have some speed sensors we have some sensors so we can show you um no so there and here's an example of a mount um, the computers come with mounts already built into the kits but these well here let's see if we have the sensor there kelsey can show you that one so that's the speed sensor that's the one that actually goes on the hub of your front wheel and it's just a little rubber strap. That's what connects to the device. What, and there's a battery in here? Yes, so there'll be a replaceable battery in there, yep. And then your RPM speed sensor, that's the same one. Yeah, it's um, the same. The cadence sensor looks very, very similar yeah. to this, except it goes on the crank arm of the bike um, with a little rubber strap or a zip tie. And they communicate directly to your device. Um, and again, the other thing to point out about both of these devices are they, you do not need a cell phone to use these. These are GPS enabled. They work without a phone, so if you leave your phone at home, you can still use the device. It's handy to have the phone because you can actually communicate with other people that have Wahoos 
And so like if Kelsey and I were to go for a ride and we both had our phones in our pockets and both had Wahoos on, I could actually see on the map where Kelsey was in relation to my position and vice versa, which is a pretty neat feature. So like, you know, as part of the downshift team, if, if we have a bunch of people riding me with these and we're on a big group ride or a big adventure ride, we can see where each, each person is relative to each other um, if you do have your phone with you. Uh, we had a question about mounts and wires, just to show you an example here of some of the mounts we offer. This is a stem cap mount, and so you actually replace the stem of your bike with that, and the device snaps right in. Same thing here, this is a stem spacer, and it has an adjustable sort of uh, lever right there, and so you can mount the device right on this, and it will actually pivot, and so it puts it just out front of your spacer, kind of closer to your stem. Um, but K-Edge makes a lot of awesome mounts for these things that keep it really clean and easy. Uh, and it has a really nice appearance on your bike. It doesn't look big and bulky and have lots of elastic and stuff to kind of get in the way. So when is the app helpful or do you have to download anything? Yeah, so the app, you definitely want the app when you buy the computer. So the app will do things like update software. So you make sure your firmware is up to date on the devices. The app is the best and simplest way to get a route on the device. And so, for example, let's say I want to do Lock Haven and I don't know the route. I go to Ride with GPS, I create a free account, or I go to Strava, I find the Lock Haven loop route, and I hit sync, and the device wirelessly syncs from my phone to here automatically. There's no things to plug in or whatever. That's the primary reason why you want the app. Secondary reason why you want the app is if, for example, like I said earlier, you wanted to do a route change sort of during the ride. You need the app to be able to make that change and then it will sync to the device and then upload that change and so you can continue on. Um, while you can do that same feature with the Roam, it's not necessary because you can do it on the actual device itself. Um, let's just real quick go outside and we can do a sunlight view of the screens here side by side. So you should be able to see kind of the differences here in the screen. The matte display is definitely a little bit easier to see in the sunlight. Um, it's not a huge difference in quality, but having that little bit of non-reflective uh, screen definitely does help in some circumstances. Any other questions? No. Dan. <laughs> Wait, are we honest? Yeah, yeah. Hang on. We're, uh, um, we have a guest, of, we're doing a special guest appearance here. <laughs> Dan, Dan, come in and do a special guest appearance. Yeah, so Dan just upgraded from a garbage wait, to a wagon. And uh, we just want, I know Dan had some strong feelings about the software as well. So Dan, if you don't mind, just giving a two second uh, spiel. Yeah, of course. They may not have heard the beginning. We're talking Garmin versus Wahoo, yeah. and this is Dan's guest appearance. Yeah, yeah uh, hey everyone. So um, I broke my garment. It fell off my bike. I had a 530, an Edge 530. Um, it fell off my bike about two weeks ago, broke it, so I had to get a new one. Thankfully, uh, I was able to work with Steve here at Wahoo dealer and get a uh, Wahoo uh, Element Roam. Uh, I had the original Element for a while. I uh, switched to the Garmin. Now that I switched back, I set it up and played with it yesterday. The software is so much more intuitive. It's easier to use. Navigation is better. Like the whole setup and everything is just so much easier than my Garmin. There's some cool features on the Garmin and it does its job, but just the ease of adjusting what's on the screen and starting it, stopping it, pausing it is just so much easier on the Garmin. So, cool. yeah. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, yeah appreciate the feedback. Um, yeah, no yeah, so again, uh, we have a bunch of these in stock. Two seventy, sorry, 379 229 $50 mail in rebate, I think may have started yesterday. Um, which is not an April Fool's joke. And yeah, we'd be happy to set you up and get your phone hooked up if you need any sort of tech advice or help with this. Um, yeah, we're here for you guys. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.